good afternoon YouTube I uh, just made a quick video here on the on the build of my bed lift and my cargo trailer conversion I put a preliminary video out when I had got the bed working uh, and it wasn't quite finished and had a lot of questions on some of the details and how I built it so it's just a quick video uh, with a few pictures and uh, you know show you how it goes up and down uh, just to kind of give you an idea how it works and maybe give you enough detail where uh, you can build your own in any case uh, good luck and thank you very much Okay, here we are for the final run of the bed. Um, I did get the limit switch put in. It's all trimmed up. Got the lights. Show you the uh, see the trim switch back there in the back. It's that magnetic switch. Got all the turnbuckles in, and uh, also installed those little things to keep the door from, locked from the inside. That I can push out. But I got all the uh, the lighting done. All the pulleys are up under here, hidden. You can see that one up under there, maybe. Okay, and. Uh, come around this way same deal pulley up in left corner pulley up in here right up in there cables come down attached to the bed on the eyelets and uh, I'll throw some pictures in but here we go I'm gonna go all the way up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to let it go up until it stops on its own um, so here we go I didn't hit the stop button that stopped on its own and if you look my index marks for the pins are right there so it'll stop on its own about uh, about a half an inch above where it's supposed to go all the way around you can see the index hole back there and on its own it will drive back down now I don't have to reset anything but it's got a maximum off switch so again on this remote here which is a remote uh, for the bed I just hit the uh, down button or the And again, boom, automatic off. Okay, now that we got it all the way up, we'll bring her back down. Here we go. That's it, all the way down. So it just comes down. You see how it rests on those pins in there. And I can move them up and down any way I want. So anyway, that's it. To get the bed entirely level, um, you know, I just had to go turn those turnbuckles back there. That's completely it, all done. Yeah, I figured some of you may ask, um, what exactly or how exactly did I do this? So I just got a little sketch here. It's uh, just a little drawing I made with pencil, obviously. Um, but you can see, basically, if you saw in the video, the uh, the. Uh, winch motor down here and then the cap stand here winds this pulley up to this one and this one winds to this pulley here which brings it up here you'll see I got two pulleys left to right uh, on each side of the bed um, on this one here both cables go over and so I bring them down to a tie point here and tie them off the key right here is to make sure they're both the same length at this point it'd be nice if you could put turnbuckles in here to adjust it but I just didn't there wasn't enough cable room for the whole travel to put turnbuckles in so you have to you have to get your cables the same length <clears throat> hopefully they'll stretch at the same rate but when the bed is uh, in its resting position on pins there's no tension on the cable so it only is gonna pull on it when uh, you're lowering or raising the bed but I got the same on both sides and so it's really the same I got the roller here you got pictures of that but that's how the cables look and this is a little bit of detail and this is a little uh, eyelet into the bed up and over eyelet in the bed, up and over and tie off. I do have turn buckles in here you'll see in the video so I can adjust these two so the bed goes up level uh, horizontally. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean that's the drawing. I've got a, little, a few notes in here but there's really only five pulleys needed uh, and I used uh, I think uh, I, I want to say um, oh the cable I think it was the 1 8 inch on this one and it was slightly bigger on the thing and that's the uh, on the winch came with some cable that I used to pull up to uh, the turnbuckles. So here we are, and, and then the bed is just a wood frame, and I've got these, uh, they're basically uh, electrical um, uh, struts that you can get at uh, Home Depot. These are, uh, I think, one and three eighths inch or one and five inch struts. Just a metal. I did have trolley wheels in here. I took them out. They just bound. They didn't really do much for me. But these do extend into the uh, into the strut, the steel bar. You can fab that somehow. Uh, that keeps it uh, horizontally uh, stable, uh, going up and down. 
And uh, uh, I did put a, uh, an up limit switch. There's a little magnet uh, on the back side of the bed rail here and up there. So when it gets up and it gets up to a point where you're going to pin it, it just automatically shuts off. So you can't overdrive and pull this up into these pulleys and, and wreck the, you know, do some damage up there. So uh, I had a friend uh, online here kind of uh, said that's probably something you ought to do. And, and I thought about it. He's absolutely right. So I did it. Um, I didn't put down limits in. Uh, I didn't see a need to put down limit in because what happens is it goes down, hits the bottom pin, it can't get on any farther. This thing will keep turning, and then what will happen is it'll just start turning, the, wrapping the cables the other way, pull the bed back up, and hit the limit. But that takes a while to do, and if you were to have a sticky position, you could just run and, and pull the master, you know, power and shut it off. But so I didn't really see the, the need for doing that. It really can't drive past those pins, and I don't want to shut off before the pins. So. In any case, uh, this is just a diagram of it. I hope it, I hope it's helpful to you, and I'll get a few pictures into the, uh, into the uh, thing as well. So very good. Right, a couple things I wanted to point out real quick here, just by way of explanation. Uh, <clears throat> on the uh, on the winch motor here, this capstan, you're, this right here is a little set screw that goes in. And they have a hole through. Cable goes in there, and then they clamp it down with a set screw. Well, since I'm putting two cables on the same capstan, I had to drill another one uh, and then tap that screw. So uh, your cable mounts there for one side, your cable there for the other. So you are going to have to modify your winch. Uh, that's the uh, only modification I did on the winch. I'll show you in a few minutes uh, how I did the uh, limit switch on the winch controller. Um, but there's mechanical ways to do that, but you still got to break into the controller. Uh, the other thing is, this is the return uh, pulley. These are just two door hinges. I was thinking about how I could do it, and uh, I needed to be able to screw it to the floor. So I just got a regular door hinge, two of them, and then drilled a hole through for the uh, bolt to serve as the axle for the, uh, for the pulley itself, and you'll see where that's mounted. In any case, uh, so that's that. Um, so you see how to do that, the details. Very good. All right, just to give you a little bit more detail, um, if you look at the uh, the uh, winch controller, the little black box that comes with the Harbor Freight basically contains a, uh, a remote receiver and it has a relay. So this is essentially the same thing. Uh, this is just two pieces. Um, so you can order this. I order this as a backup in case I get stranded somewhere. But basically, you have 12 volts uh, and ground that go to a remote receiver to power it. And then out of it is just basically an up and a down wire that goes to the solenoid on here. So all I did was I, I broke the uh, up link that goes to the solenoid to enable it to go up. And then uh, I put this magnetic switch in here. So um, I'll show you a picture in a second of the of the uh, Harbor Freight Relay. But you could go very well online and just buy this thing just as it is and modify it. You can see that the uh, to build one up here uh, costs you about, you know, 40, 50 bucks. Um, for the relays and everything but uh anyways uh this is just an idea for you i hope it works for you okay as i said earlier this is the picture of the harbor freight uh remote controller um for the uh, winch and these are the uh two leads that go out to the winch motor these are uh, 12 volts in from your battery um, this is that little, this is the actual solenoid, the reversing solenoid relay. This is a remote receiver. So in the previous pictures of, um, from the eBay and different pieces, I showed you the, the relay and then the receiver. Um, this is the same thing. These two wires right here, the, the red and black coming in are powered to the uh, remote receiver. This is the down and this is the up wire. They're color coded. Uh, you can test them by with a little voltmeter and, and run the remote and all that. And check it out when you're actually doing this. All I really did was I cut this wire and uh, um, and ran it out and, and put the magnetic relay in between here so when it gets up to position the magnetic uh, relay will open the contactors and then just shut this solenoid down. So that's all that is. Uh, so you can do it either way. If you have a Harbor Freight uh, winch and you have this already, you can do it right here. If you don't have a uh, remote controller and you have a winch, uh, you can buy those pieces I showed you there off of eBay. In either case, this is how I did it. Um, there's probably other ways to do it, but this seems to work okay. So that's that.